Hey everyone and welcome back to Brick House Vintage where today we are going to be smearing over this brick wall in our house. Uh, for those of you that aren't familiar with what smearing is, it's basically the process of using mortar to cover over a brick. Uh, we've wanted to do this for a long time and we're finally getting around to it. Uh, so with that, make sure you stick around and see how it turns out. So the first thing I do is power wash the wall. I take a quick pass over first just to remove any of the loose debris and then I go back over any moldy spots or kind of deep grime to get as much off as I can. Because it is important to have a clean surface before applying this because you want to make sure it sticks as much as possible and you don't want it chipping off or peeling off. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is go over some of the things that I'm going to need. So first thing is some of these grouting sponges. Um, it's going to be to wipe back some of the mortar where we don't want it, kind of uh, smooth it out and kind of wipe off some of the bricks where we want it showing through. Next is obviously the mortar itself. Uh, varying trowels and floats because I'm not exactly sure what's going to work best yet so I have a few on hand just in case and obviously a drill and my auger to mix everything up a couple buckets of clean water to rinse out the sponges in and this is what I'm going to actually be mixing it up in um, my mortar because it's a little bit wider it'll be easier to fit the trowel in to actually get the mortar and pull it up the wall uh, with a regular bucket, you're not going to be able to fit the trowel in there. So I'm going to try it in this tote. Uh, it's a little bit wider. should be a little bit easier to kind of fit the trowel in there and pull it out. Now you'll notice there's a little bit of water in there already. Um, usually start with a little bit of water before I put my mortar in. Um, just helps it to kind of prevent sticking to the bottom. And then we're going to add a little bit of water as needed for our consistency from these buckets. I personally always mix my mortar to feel and texture and I never measure it. Uh, for this you want it kind of stiff enough that it doesn't slump, but you also want it workable enough that you can spread it. Now you can certainly go lighter on the mortar and have more brick and color showing through, but we wanted the look of a heavy coat, especially because we didn't like the varying colors of our brick. And as you can see, I just use a wrung out damp sponge to gently wipe back some of the mortar in spots where we wanted brick showing, giving it a nice aged kind of cottagey look. I make sure to trowel in different directions to work it into the grout lines for a nice solid finish. In 
And just as a note, you'll want to tape off any windows or trim just like you would for painting. Uh, we're going to replace these windows at some point, so I didn't bother taping these off. And as you'll notice from this angle, our fascia and softening are on my to-do list. We're getting there. Just as a reminder, here's what it looked like before. And here's what it looks like now. So we think it turned out great and we're already continuing our way around the rest of the house. And we have some other projects that we want to finish up on the house as well before we have a final reveal. So make sure you stick around and subscribe because we'll have that coming up in the near future. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.